Hello, this is Shep and Nick here at Sun Valley Auto Club. In front of us is a 1973 Volkswagen uh, Beetle. This is a Super Beetle, which means it has the uh, front uh, shocks and springs versus just the sway bars. Um, so it's also a little bit longer than your standard Beetle. So this is a 73 Super Beetle, and it really is in phenomenal shape. Uh, this one was fully restored uh, prior to us receiving it. Uh, we do not have the restoration paperwork. The timing on that is certainly vague. We bought it from a, a local gentleman who purchased it restored, uh, but just a fun car uh, for use. So it was garaged and uh, not driven in the winter. So definitely more of that collector style car. So we do have uh, quite a bit of service records that uh, what we've done to it, um, but no restoration records. So it's one of those cars where just the car itself has to speak. And we'll get nice and close to the paint. Um, so I'm guessing at least 10 years old on this restoration, if not older, which means whatever's there is, is done well. You know, you definitely don't want a freshly painted car because you don't know what's hidden underneath that paint. Uh, issues, etc. This one was done uh, done quite some time ago, and it's held up well. So we'll jump in and take a close look here, and you can tell this is a full a full body uh, or a full window out paint job. So there's no tape lines. Um, all the windows were out. All the rubber is is really supple. No cracking. And that's on all your window seals. The bodywork is really good. It's smooth. The paint is shiny. Uh, no, no signs of any sort of paint flaws that you see with bad prep. And that could be either orange peel or cracking from Bondo, etc. All the trim pieces have been replaced. And you'll see a few small dings here and there. Like here's a door ding where the trim did its job. So in really, really good shape, but not a fresh restoration, as mentioned. Uh, it is kind of unique that it is a sunroof coupe, and we've had this sitting outside. Sometimes we fill up in here, uh, so the bug, try to keep it inside, but if it has to go outside, it's usually one of the first ones to go out. It's gone through some torrential uh, rain this spring, and zero leaks from that sunroof. So going through car wash, not a problem. The seal is good, and there's no signs on this on the headliner of any sort of water damage. So nice new door cards with the speaker inset. The vinyl was replaced, the vinyl seating. And then floor mats, all four. And then even beneath there, um, other than those little tiny dirt spots, uh, specs, the carpet's in really good shape. So quick look at the uh, headliner. Get some lighting in there. It is really nice and tight. You see some scuffing on this headliner from the uh, just the operation, but all these cables have been replaced, so there's no drama on the headliner whatsoever or uh, sunroof <laughs> headliner. There's a little bit of scraping on that on the headliner, but no drama on the sunroof. Moisture or operation. We'll take a look at the... Uh... Oh, one, one thing you should note, let me get that camera in there, is that this is a, um, it's a dash cover. Really professionally well installed, but that is a plastic cover over that dash. Versus, you know, replacing, there's probably some cracks versus a, a full blown replacement of the dash. But all your bright works in good shape. Lenses are, are clear, no cracks, really tidy in the bonnet here. Where a lot of times I'll see these bugs with that plate missing and you've got wires just running everywhere. This one has all the correct cardboard, cardboard insets as well as the spare tire. Bin tag. 
really just kind of clean and drawn up for you. Take a look at the passenger side here. Again, door card, clean. Passenger seat, no rips or tears. Carpet's equally as good on the underside of those floor mats all the way around. Back seat's in good shape. Battery, of course, is underneath that back seat. And we're fortunate where we have uh, our uh, German mechanic, actually works on German cars, Wolfgang. He's gone through this. Uh, this engine was rebuilt. We, we, he completely rebuilt that carburetor, uh, replaced the pulley. Uh, that was just under his recommendation, so that's been done. New belt, uh, brand new build on that carburetor. It's just tidy, can't turn the, turn the key type of car. Ready to be enjoyed and have some fun with it. We'll go through some, uh, show you how the lights work. All the glass is in good shape, no cracks. Um, glass, and then we'll go out for a quick test drive. So you got your running lights, get your headlights, you get your high beams, get your left blinker, your right blinker, and then those window wipers, windshield wipers. You see work well. We'll check out the back lights. So you got the running lights. Left blinker, right blinker, and reverse lights work well. Then go for a ride. And I'm seeing all original glass on uh, not the windshield, but the uh, all the other greenhouse has the uh, factory markings on it, which is a good indication of the life this has had since you don't have a Carfax. But original glass will let you know that hasn't been rolled off a cliff. <laughs> That'd be fairly dramatic, but that didn't happen. So really easy to drive, little manual, short throw on that. Braking was nice and easy. Reverse. No issues. Fun to have that sunroof. It opens up the car. Nice feel in the clutch. And it engages early. I'm not going all the way to the floor by any means to get that uh, engagement going. 
there's fourth gear. A little slow for four, but just wanted to run through them all. So basically that's it. Just a nice running little bug, great color, sunburst orange, sunroof, very tidy and mechanically kept. And this is a car you can just uh, have shipped in or pick it up and just the fun factor starts right away. So I'm Chef here at the Auto Club. You can contact Nick or myself. I'm at 208-721-1973. Or feel free to reach out to Nick. My number is 563-676-8225. Right, thanks for watching.